Welcome back to Orozco's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making Durango style burgers. If you don't know what that means, that basically means we're gonna be making Mexican style burgers. It's gonna have ham, salchicha, pineapple. It's gonna have all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be delicious. But I want you guys to stick around to the end because this is one of those recipes that you really don't wanna miss. This is a straight up street burger. And this is found in the streets of Durango, Mexico. It absolutely blew my mind when I went last time. So I wanna make them for you guys today. Let's get started. All right, first we're gonna start off with our ground beef. We got this ground beef from Costco. It's just an 80-20 mix. So go ahead and get two of these. They're approximately 1.34 pounds per package. Get yourself some Kinder Santa Maria rub and some SPG and rub that in. All right, so we're gonna make some balls everyone's favorite thing to do <laughs> no but really make a some giant balls over here of ground beef and get your blackstone all oiled up man and get yourself a press like this for smash burgers all right but first oil it or else the meat patty will stick to it so make sure you get one of these and don't get the ones that have ridges on them i don't really like those the flat surface meat press is the best style just letting you know from experience all right so I'm going to show you two of them, but on the next slide here, I'm going to show you all the burgers I made because I don't want to bore the hell out of you. So let's go ahead and smash these babies up and then put some more oil. I'm going to put the rest of them on there, throw on some more Santa Maria rub on these patties. And you want to have some salt on there, but you don't want to over salt it. Good thing for the Santa Maria rub, it's not too salty. It has a lot of other herbs in there. So that's why I really like that seasoning especially for tri-tip but anyways let's get back to these burgers and we're gonna go ahead and cook these guys and they're already all smashed up ready to go and once they start being done go ahead and add them to the right side of that blackstone griddle and the right side is off just so you know so you don't keep overcooking these patties and i got some links here and what i'm doing here is cutting them in half all right so get these guys and just cook them up and you don't want to toast these up too much, just enough to where they're cooked. I left two of them uncooked just in case somebody wanted a hot dog, one of the kids. All right, so these patties are pretty much done. I'm going to start pulling them to the side and let them chill right there. Same with the weenies, they're done. So I got some Kirkland ham and these are done really quickly as well. Just give it a quick flip, about 5-10 seconds and they're done. You don't want to overcook those as well. Here's some chopped fresh pineapple. And yeah, this is not from the can, guys. This is fresh pineapple. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this on the grill. I know it looks like it's from the can, but it's definitely not. So let's go ahead and oil it up. And we're going to grill these pineapples briefly as well. We're not trying to kill these guys just enough to release some of the juices and caramelize it just a bit. Once they're done, pull it to the right and just let them chill there. Get some mayonnaise and get the bottom buns. All right, four of them. We're gonna make four burgers, but I'm only gonna show you how to make one of them. So once those buns are done, pull them to the side, get yourself three patties and some cheese and cover it up just so the cheese starts to melt. Now we're gonna assemble our burger. Get your meat, your ham. We're gonna throw some pineapple on here. We're gonna get our salchichas and chop that in half and throw it on there. Then we're gonna pull those guys to the side and then we're gonna get the top bun and toast that notice i moved the burger yes i didn't want it to overcook on the bottom so get yourself some lettuce tomato put some ketchup and smash this baby up it's ready to go all right guys we're gonna give this burger a try that's good all right guys after watching this video if you guys liked it Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and check out all my other videos. See you guys on the next video.